I'm just gonna wait around for a while. Oh, you're the first one. Whoever watching, you're the first. Yay. I'll keep it down my energy for later because like I know we're gonna like end up talking for like an hour or two. Oh, two people. Come on, come on people. I'm just gonna Yes, I'm like maybe a little too short. So the thing is like I was hello, hi Eric. Yeah, I was gonna do live and I was like oh, like I was ready, ready, ready. Hi Um I'm just gonna keep like talk about like random things. Hey guys. I'm so like happy like you guys are so on point and it's like you know as soon as I go live and like oh 18. Hey Komawa Genki Hi So yeah I was like super ready and I came home like I was working until like 9 today, 9 p.m. And hey guys, and then I was like, okay, today is like my live stream. Like I haven't done this forever. And then I was like, I was so excited and I came back and I was like, it was like 1030, I think. It was like 30 minutes before the live stream. And then I was like, okay, I'm gonna set everything else. And I just forgot, I just realized that I forgot the, uh, the like one of the gears, like hold the uh, smartphone on the tripod. I was like, shh. So <laughs> yeah, hello, hi. I'm just gonna wave until like everybody's done say hello to me. So, hey guys. Hi. Hi, how's it going? <sighs> so yeah, this is my pajama for the day. <laughs> it's, here, here you go. Marvel. Uh, in Japan, they're doing some like one of the Marvel movie tonight. My mom is watching right now. Um, I don't know. I, I don't remember what it's called. Hold on. Hold on. I know that in Japanese. So I'm just gonna take a look at I don't know if it's like new movie Hold on Ma Marvel Venom do you guys know Venom? Ven Venom? Do you know Venom? Yeah that's a ah. Oh, that's that's actually comic books. I didn't even know. Yeah, I just like saw like a little bit of like a little bit of it. But good day, mate. <laughs> Did I say it right? <laughs> I thought you guys don't say that in Australia. I thought that was like something that like you guys used to say, and like people start making fun of you guys or something. Maybe I'm wrong. Sorry if it's th if that's offensive. But why should <laughs> why washoi? Oh, you do say good day. Ah, cool. Okay, all right. Cool, cool, cool. So, <laughs> I'm just drinking some coffee or cafe ole. But uh. All right, so I guess we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna start the live stream. So I should like sit, sit up right. Like now, like I can't really adjust my camera just because I forgot the gear at the office. So yeah. And it's not like I'm like big fan of Marvel. Like I've seen couple, but like don't, don't talk about anything Marvel. Cause I cannot answer. Yeah, cause like, I guess I'm the one of one of those people who would be like, oh, Spider Man is Marvel, and Batman is yeah that type of person. So yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. So if you have anything you want to ask me, go ahead. I might stop sometime cause like I'm really bad at reading comments. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about Marvel, but that's all I have. Like, I said everything I could say about Marvel. Marvel. And, Hisashibori! Yeah, um, like, I grabbed this because, like, I just like the, uh, the shiny pink thing. And it's not, like, a regular, like, like, um, red. So I was like, okay, this one probably I can wear. You know, uh, somebody was asking about some, something in the Japan. Uh, here, hold on. Uh, when will Japan open its borders again? I don't really know, like, honestly. Like, today, I think uh, Tokyo 
alone had like I was gonna talk about uh, the COVID actually in the beginning, but uh, I was gonna say uh, what I was gonna say. Uh, this happens a lot. Like um, okay, I was gonna say something. I was like, ah, oh, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna, you're gonna, I'm gonna hold on to it for later. Oh hey, I can't really pronounce your name. One. Her, sorry, something guy. <laughs> Thanks for the donation. Um, but uh, I was gonna say, I'm like, oh, I'm already saying what I was gonna say, and it's like we are only five minutes in. Uh, so Japan, Tokyo alone had. Oh, thank you. Uh, Tokyo alone had like five thousand. Yeah, five uh, thousand new cases yesterday today something like that so it's it's kind of a lot i don't know like about your countries but like for tokyo it's kind of a lot and yeah we are we do have like olympic events but yeah the covid situation isn't that good i think like in uh in ehime i think today we have like 50 six new cases and uh which isn't that bad because we are not in lockdown or anything and we are just like yeah like it's it's normal life we have nothing different uh it's in the middle of the uh of the summer vacation sorry like it's 11 30 11 30 p.m and i had like all day of work and i like so i thought that i could like pull this off and i was like okay my mind is like oh foggy <laughs> so i might talk really slow and i might say the same things over and over again so please bear with me but yeah so i don't know like if but like there are people who are going abroad at this time of the year like for studying abroad or like business trip or whatever and then they have no issues coming back home so if as long as you are japanese then i think you can go anywhere you want out, like you know outside of japan and then you, you can easily come back um so that's the privilege of being the citizens i guess but like i'm not sure about like i know i don't have any like friends overseas uh, who are non-Japanese and wanted to come to Japan at this time of the uh, time of the uh, the COVID situation. So like I don't have anybody who like close to me and are looking into like coming to Japan and then like t telling me like if they can or not. So not really sure. But uh, okay, I gotta go back. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this and this uh, speaking of the Olympics. Yes, uh, the Olympic Games are going on and well like I'm living very far from Tokyo So like only thing I do is that to catch up on the news who won the medals and that's pretty much it um, Yeah, I don't know there are like always issues, right? Like their um, Their management is not good or like somebody somebody got uh the corona or something like that so yeah but it was that yeah like even if it was in like in the mid in the midst of covid i think those problems anyway happened so and like originally i thought that i was gonna go to tokyo olympics uh before corona but like I, and then help out as a volunteer but then like whole corona thing happened so i decided not to yeah, I didn't even apply, but yeah, that's 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 Olympic, and then that's only in Tokyo, right? So like, we live in in Ehime, and we just don't <laughs> Olympic. What? What? <laughs> yeah, that's what we do. <laughs> we don't really care. Um. Oh, somebody's from Nihama. Wait, so you live in Ehime, like Nihama in Ehime? Uh, is it true that people in Ehime love oranges? Uh, yes and no. It's just like we don't dislike them because there are many different kinds of oranges um, and they're delicious to be honest. But mm, it's just like 
Whether you like it or not, you get a box of oranges in winter, that's the season for oranges, and from somebody you know. So you never buy oranges at uh, at the store and yeah. So I guess in a way people like oranges and I don't know, there are people who don't eat oranges. Wow, Sacramento had thousand hmm? Thousand K? How do you read that? Thousand K new cases? But wow. But like, you know, I guess like if you just compare numbers and then that's not that big, what we are going through in Japan, but uh, we have, I guess we have less hospitals and or if, I don't know, maybe we have less doctors compared to other, uh, other countries? I'm not sure, maybe. 100,000 cases, okay, 100,000 cases, but still, that's a lot, yeah, like, <laughs> 5,000 compared to 100,000 cases, so, like, yeah, if you compare numbers, then, yeah, maybe, but, hmm, I don't know, uh, going back, going back, going back, going back, how far should I go back? I don't know. I never know. Oh, maybe somewhere around here. Um, looking like you're doing great. Have a great day, Sherry Berry. Miss your videos. I know. Like I'm gonna make a video soon. Like the vi like, big videos were the the Olympic one, the the torch uh, carrier thing, and then the dance documentaries. Or so those came around the same time. So I was like working my ass off. And and I released those in like, you know, I guess like one month uh, frame or something. And then after that, I was like focusing on like my main main job, the like, you know, English school and whatnot for a while. Because, uh, yeah, I had a like little bit of big things come in. And so, yeah, like give me some ideas. Like, what do you want to see? Because like I because like I'm the head of the uh, the the school, right? So I can't really do any anything that involves like eating in a restaurant or something or like, hanging in with friends like that's not really a good image for me um, Yeah, because like I'm I'm a teacher I interact with kids so like parents get very you know nervous if I'm like going out like so much and then like come back to the office and then teach, right? So yeah, if you have any like topics that I should cover in the video, like something I can do in the uh, open space just by myself or like maybe sitting here at home. By the way, like this background is like super like blunt, but this is actually pink. Like I picked pink and then it's like, you know, kind of like beige. <laughs> <laughs> it's like blah. <laughs> so, uh, I can can I do live stream uh outside to show us around the local area? I want to do that. And then like the the reason why I was having Norm uh to my hometown was to borrow his a uh, Wi-Fi. <laughs> so he has pocket Wi-Fi. I think he has like uh, some like he's promoting or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, he does have a pocket Wi-Fi, and I have no intention of uh, buying a pocket Wi-Fi. So yeah, I was like borrowing his all the time, but like now he can't come, of course. And yeah, well, well, I'll think about it. I don't like the fact that like, ah, oh, I can't see it. Like I'm charging my phone at the same time because like there's no way I can go through, uh, you know, the whole live stream without charging my phone. But like I made a huge mistake. I There are so many mistakes today. I made a huge mistake charging with the, uh, you know, like non-Apple one. So yeah, there's a possibility that it's not charging right now. So hopefully. Da, 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 da. Uh, so yeah, vaccination, like since we were talking about Corona, I mean like my phone is pretty hot. I don't like it. I really don't like it. Hold on.
Hey, I'm back. <laughs> I was just adjusting the temperature. Uh, like, look at my hair. It's really fuzzy. Yeah. You know, it's a pajama party. That was like, that was my excuse that like, okay, I don't look pretty. Like, I just came home from like working like 10 hours on Saturday and it's like 11.30. So, yep. Yeah. I'm wearing pajamas, so what? That was my excuse. Anyway, so yeah, vaccination. Uh, I got vaccinated once. And I'm waiting on the uh, the second dose. Uh, and then it has to have like a three weeks apart, right? So uh, I'm getting, a, getting the second dose like when? Next, next week? Two weeks from now, I think. Yeah. And like... I got Pfizer. We didn't have any choice. Uh, I thought like we could choose or any, like, something like that. But like, uh, I got a coupon and then they're like, okay, you live here, so you're gonna get Pfizer. And I was like, okay, all right, cool. <laughs> I don't have any preference. So yeah, and then I didn't have any side effects. So, like, but a lot of people said that like in the second dose, that's when you get like fever and stuff. So I, yeah, I'm gonna make some video, um, not like a video that I put on the uh, YouTube, but like little short video and then see how it's gonna go. But yeah, a lot of uh, hydrate before second shot. Okay, I'll try that, I'll try that. A lot of people said drink water before the second one. Okay, I will definitely try that. Like, what do you mean by like a lot? Like one liter? Two liters? <laughs> I don't know. I don't really drink water like on daily basis. Like I should be like uh, hydrated more, but hi, Daniel, Daniel. Um, so yeah, vaccination. Uh, Norm got the second one and we were chatting there earlier, but yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not like, you know, I'm not for nor against vaccination. I'm getting vaccinated because I can. Uh, and I have asthma. So I'm just trying, like, if I, like, I don't have any other allergies. So, uh, like, my body can technically take vaccination. So then why not? So I just decided to go. But, yeah, like, I'm not, like, forcing anybody to get vaccinated. Because, uh, like, we don't know what's going to happen, right? So, yeah. So it's just like I'm giving you my updates. That's all. And so yeah, da -da -da -da. <laughs> going back. Uh, yeah, Nihama Ehime. Hi, Nihama. I have a friend in Nihama. So have you had an opportunity to take the vaccine shot, which I, which I turned down twice here in Japan. Hmm. Like you, might, you mean like you turn it down or they turned you down? Like you, they don't do that, right? If you want to take it, uh, get a vaccination. So you decide not to take it. That's what it is. Uh, how is your entrepreneur journey? Uh, I've wanted to watch your Patreon videos. Uh, I've wanted to, wanted to watch your Patreon videos about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so maybe we can move on to that. Wait, I have like a schedule though. Like I'm just gonna put like, you know, certain information at a certain point and then I actually set an alarm that goes off like every 30 minutes and I can move on to the next topic because I, I know that I will like, when I start talking, I'll like uh, give you like a big announcement, like he, like boom, 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 boom. And then like first like 20 minutes, like again, don't have any, anything else to talk about. So I actually have everything planned. So like we can hang out for like two hours if you, if you like. I don't know. Uh, maybe it'll be like, oh, two hours so long. So yeah, I will have like announcement, like big announcements or like my personal updates every 30 minutes. So yeah, stick around if you want to know like all the announcements. Uh, but yeah, I guess we can move on to or maybe we skip to some other things. No, we are actually on track. Okay, so maybe like during like while I'm talking, maybe my phone goes off, but you know. That's just like, you know, saying, hey, um, it's time to talk about this. So, yeah. So anyway, uh, Patreon. So if you are, uh, if you are following my, uh, not Twitter, uh, Instagram, then, then lately I've been posting like a very short clip of uh, video. Oh, hi, Archie. 
Patricio. Hello. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, but yeah, what I was going to say. Uh, so yeah, Patreon. So I've started uh, making like a short video about everyday, my everyday life. So some somewhat like kind of exciting, like somewhat like very like, like my, <laughs> I complain a lot. You know, like when you're running your business, like even if you're just like work uh, or if you are a student, it doesn't matter that like you have something in your day and then you be like, oh, I just want to complain about this. But you just don't have anybody to complain to because it's Corona, right? And so I, <laughs> I'm just using Patreon <laughs> page to like vent, but sorry guys. But yeah, so I'll go, I'll talk about like my business stuff and uh, what's going on in every day. And then I'll talk about like my students, like without like, of course, not saying uh, any names, but then, or, I will talk like I will show uh, what I'm eating, <laughs> literally anything. Um, so yeah, and then I was like talking about oh okay that's my first alarm. I was like talk about like Patreon. So I was like a few minutes early, but it's fine. Um, so yeah, um, it's like I was like introducing my pets and something. So it was like so it's my Patreon is basically something that like it's not so like big that I can make a uh, full video out of that I can put on YouTube, but that's something going on in my, in my everyday life. So if you want to see me, um, what? No, 40, 49 people watching and not only five people, like uh, five likes. I have 24 likes though. Yeah. So don't be sad. Yeah, we have like, maybe it's just like bugs. Yeah, two, uh, see? 25 likes. Yeah, now 27. Give me likes! <laughs> Go push the like button. <laughs> Somebody said like, there were only five, five things. <laughs> now 29. So, oh, 32! Thanks! <laughs> Thanks, guys! <laughs> 34. Alright, keep it up, keep it up. It's so, that, it's, so, it's so sad that you can only like push one like, right? Yeah, just one time. But okay, okay. All right. So, um, so Patreon, Patreon. So basically, if you want to follow me on a uh, daily basis, um, then you can like follow my Patreon. Like the links is in the the description box. And I'm not like forcing you or anything. It's just like, uh, well, I just like give you the price. Like just like five dollar, uh, per month. And then uh, you can see me like every freaking day. You might get very annoyed. <laughs> But that's your fault because you, um, you know, you follow me. So yeah, I follow you too. Um, but yeah, um, and if you, any, if any of you who are watching right now uh, are the member of Patreon already, thank you so much. I haven't really announced anywhere, anywhere but like you've already uh, found my Patreon page and then like, you've become one of the uh, members. So I'm really appreciate it. And uh, today's I've already filmed today's Patreon video, but I haven't, uh, I haven't shared that with you guys. So I will uh, share today's story uh, after this live stream. So yeah, look forward to it. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Wow, you guys know a lot about me. Wow, I'm, I'm very impressed. Like I've never made any like proper videos and then I thought this would be like a like big announcement but like everyone's like coming in like oh how about this how about that how about this <laughs> it's like okay you guys are spoiling but okay I'm gonna go back a little bit okay okay uh -huh. ah how's my family um uh, my family's good uh, pretty good. And actually my brother, I have two brothers and the, well, uh, two younger brothers, but the older one, uh, graduated from university. Uh, oh, I got 40 likes. Yay. Thanks guys. Uh, and he graduated from university this, uh, spring. And then he de decided to get a job in another prefecture. So he's out of the house. Uh, so that's been kind of weird because, you know, one less person. 
Um, but yeah, and uh, I still have the uh, younger brother uh, who's living in the same house. I l live with my parents, so uh, yeah. Boop, boop, boop. Oh yes, keep tapping that like button. <laughs> Is there a camera with a Canon, Canon G7X? No, wait, what? <laughs> wait, are you talking about like this camera? I'm using my phone. Or like, you're, are you talking about like ones that I use for shooting like regular videos? I know it's Canon, but like I don't think it's G... Your YouTube camera. Oh, it's not like G7. I think it was like... Huh. Do I have my phone? Hold on. Can you hold on? I can, I can grab one. Hold on. Hi. Uh, <laughs> yeah, cozy pajama style, right? I know, I'm very comfy. So this is the my main vlogging camera. I don't know if I ever showed this. So, Canon. EOS. Uh, where do I have to see? Like, I'm not really like camera freak, so I don't really know how I'm gonna check. <laughs> <laughs> tell me, somebody tell me, where should I look? Oh, here, baby. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure. Can somebody tell me? Like, Norm recommended this. Yeah, so, like, he's a camera freak. He knows every little detail about camera. So I was like, I turned to him and on the front, it only says EOS. That's it. Does it say anything else? No, it doesn't say anything else. I think this is something like M, M5, M50, no, M something. Like, I, ugh. I'm not sure, but like, <laughs> yeah, everyone is searching Google right now, probably. So here you go. I will present. Looks like M590. 590, 50, M50. That sounds right. M50. Probably. I think this is like one that I, Peter McKinnon also like recommended. Like he made it like a video or something. Yeah, it is good. I mean, like if you are a girl and you can't hold like because like when you're vlogging you attach to your gorilla pod right and then you vlog like this so that means your you stretch your arm and then so like you have to hold the camera plus a gorilla pod uh, on your one hand and then you have to like keep talking to the camera so this is really really light and it's really compact but you have the uh you can attach microphone and so you can you can get uh, the uh, external microphone, right? So you can get a like, better audio. Um, so yeah. So I guess I, like it's really easy to move it around, but oh, of course it doesn't really have a like good options. Like it can shoot 4K, but it's a cropped 4K if you know what that means. And it doesn't have the a uh, like autofocus, so you have to have it like set on a like, tripod, and that's only that's the only way that you can shoot 4K. So that's not really like you can you can't really do much with that. So yeah, like if you're fine with like 1080 and stuff, and if you want to have like I think this is like a thousand thousand bucks or something like that. It's not like ridiculously like expensive thousand bucks right yeah that's about right so yeah that's my camera <laughs> uh, 
Du, 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 du. <laughs> cool, your mic is so fluffy, yes. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going back, I'm going back. <laughs> oh, really? No, that's a weird alarm. I don't know why. It's like 11.39. <laughs> that's a weird. What are we were talking about? Yeah, Patreon. We're talking about Patreon. So we have a... If you have been to my Patreon page, there are four, five tiers. And so the bottom one is like $3 tier. And then that's only to like, just know, you know, support Cherry. So there is nothing like I might like give you random uh, like random, you know, posts and stuff, but that's pretty much it. And then uh, there is the uh, $5 tier. That's the everyday cherry. So you can see me every day. And as I said, <laughs> and then we have two pinky rings. And then that word used to be a, uh, a support dance studio pep or something. Oh, somebody asked me about the my mom, and then the uh, uh, you know the dance studio and whatnot. So basically, the dance studio it's closed after the uh, performance. We were able to throw a dance last con dance concert. So that's because of your support as well so thank you so much and especially for those who uh joined my patreon and to supported the documentary and stuff like you guys gave me a lot of feedback and everything so that was very helpful and i appreciate it and so there are so many questions sorry <laughs> i was like oh i'm not really good at it uh you know like if you have seen my everyday uh sherry patreon and like every time like this is freaking every time that like when i like started to shoot the uh video for patreon and then like i usually make like 10 to 15 minute long and then like, every time some like boop, boop like you guys can't see it but like boop boop and then you're like i'm like uh, 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 <laughs> and then I was like, <laughs> yeah, so, oh, there's a Japanese person, konbanwa, uh, I don't know if he's like, he, he or she's like Japanese, but like, hi, <laughs> um, but yeah, so they are, uh, uh, look at it, like, it's just all over the place, yeah, so this is what you're gonna see in my Patreon, but there are pink earrings, and then, uh, we were talking about dance studio, so after the dance concert, and dance concert was a huge success. We did two shows uh, in uh, in the afternoon, early in the afternoon, and then in the evening. And both of them, we had a uh, full of the audience, of course, because because of the corona, like it was like social distance and whatnot. So we could have bring in like, more people, but we had to close off some sheet seats and something. So like it wasn't as you know packed as usual, but still we got many people and. Yeah, like nobody got sick and it was a great success. Everyone loved it. And yeah, so, but after that, like my mom, as, uh, as I mentioned in the video, my mom decided to close off and yeah, that was it. Uh, but it's not like she quit dancing or anything, but she's the kind of person who can't, uh ah have a good night thank you for joining um she's the type of person who can't really stand not moving at all so like she's like 53 years old she looks young right um she's like kind of like ha ah. so hey so yeah she's, she's like she's very i don't know how can i say she's very childish <laughs> i think <laughs> but yeah she's 53 and but still like so for me i'm like take it easy like you've been like running the the dance, dance studio for long like 20 years that's that's pretty long time and why don't you take a moment and like maybe relax a little bit and in any way the world is kind of like this so why don't you just like you know chill and then like maybe catch up some like movies and then yeah a childlike yeah here we go thanks thanks kelly childlike Childlike? Yeah, childlike. 
well, she's a child. <laughs> in a good way, in a good way. She's very cheerful and whatnot. Um, but yeah, so I suggested to her that if you want to continue the dance studio, then you have to change. Uh, yeah, enjoy the enjoy her life, right? But like, she just wanted to teach dance and stuff. So I was like, okay, well, we do have a small dance studio built in the house anyway. So or young at heart, yeah, she would love it. But I'm I have like a little, little bit of like sarcastic. In it <laughs> you know i'm a daughter so i can say anything about her <laughs> no maybe not <laughs> uh yeah somebody commented on patreon they're like oh you guys have a, such a great like mother and daughter relationship i think we do uh now we have like the 49 people watching in 49 likes so bounces is out yeah yay um and so hi and so yeah, she she doesn't want to stop. So I suggested her like, why don't you like? I know you don't like the like business side of thing, but if you want to keep like running it as like kind of business, so you don't have to go out to work, but you can like keep your like dance studio like in a different way. So like so we made a promise that we're not gonna throw any a. Uh, uh, what? Make a volcano related documentary. <laughs> Norm did that. Yeah, you should go watch it. Yeah, Norm did that, right? Wait, was it released? Sorry, Norm, if you are not released yet. Uh, I don't know. Maybe he released it. I don't know. We do, we like, we chat back and forth, Norm and I, that like we give each other like feedback and whatnot, and then give each other like business, uh, business opinions and things like that. So uh, he did release it. Whew, okay, good. <laughs> yeah, Sakurajima video, right? Yeah, I was like, I know I watched it, but like, I don't know if I watched it before he released it or like after he released it. And I was like, I don't know. The trams in Matsuyama, do people use more public trams for mostly? Tours. Um, <laughs> that voice. <laughs> um, yeah. You know, trams, like, do... Yeah, people do use it, but, like, trams are only within, like, Matsuyama city, like, downtown city, city. Like, they're just, like, this, like, little like, place. So, like, if you are... If you don't have a car, and if you want to travel Matsuyama, then you can use tram. And then I think it's not that expensive. Like, buses are expensive, but, like, trams are very cheap. So I think it was, like, 160 yen or something like that one ride. Yeah, it doesn't matter how far you go. But, like, you know, the, like, you know, to the station, to the, uh, well, the main station to, like, maybe Dogo Hot Spring. And that's, like, one line and that's it. <laughs> so. Yeah. So. I don't think people use it to commute. Because, like, yeah, as I said, that's a small area. So you can bike there. Like if you're commuting or something. Yeah, we, you, we, like people who don't have buses, uh, no, people who don't have cars here, then they usually take buses. Yeah, not trains or tram. And uh, going back to my mom, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> going back to my mom. Yeah, so I gave her a little bit of like business, uh, like advice and she decided to follow it. So now she has, decent amount of uh, new students it's a surprise like she is the like only like she is the person the person who has who was surprised about the fact that like she got many new students after not having a single new student for god knows how long that's one of the reasons we had to quit right but i told her don't throw any uh like performances and uh, like quit charging them monthly, but have them buy tickets. And yeah, that was it. That was pretty much it. And then don't make long classes, just like one hour is enough. And yeah, so that's been going great. And then since we are just like, you know, using the uh, studio in the house because we don't, we can't afford renting out places. And so she can't really have many students. Uh, she teaches mostly kids now. Like she wants to teach adults, but like there are no adults who are interested in dancing that seriously. So 
like as a hobby might be okay. Well, it's kind of hard. Like when you have a job and then if you want to start a hobby, it's very difficult to keep it going. You know what I mean? Like I've, I've thought of like maybe taking some lessons myself, some, some, some other places. Uh, I don't know what. Maybe I can like learn a third language or something like that. Or maybe I can go to the gym, but I didn't even start. <laughs> I mean, like I thought of it and I'm like, okay, nope, I don't have time. You know, that's like, I think everyone. So I, yeah, I respect those who have work, like working full time and then still make some time to do their own thing. But yeah, well, that's them, not me. <laughs> So, okay, like, uh, <laughs> hello, Sherry, how are you? How are you and your cats and dogs? And yeah, cats and dogs. So I don't have many dogs, just just a dog. You got, you know better than I do. Um, but yeah, so my pets are fine, but they're getting old. So that's the problem. So my oldest cat is 17 and the second oldest one is like 16 no no 15 or something and then my dog and then the third cat is 14 and then the youngest one is like 11 12 something like that so yeah they're pretty old so like once you know it's the same thing as humans that like once you're old then um you have a lot of health problems so I'm getting like, like my, that air condition is like right there and I'm like, I'm getting the really cold, uh, wind. Hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold on to the remote. 17, yeah, 17 is really old for a cat. Yeah, I know. Like we keep in, I keep all my pets in the house. We won't let them go outside unless, like, you know, except for my dog, of course. Like, dog has to walk. Uh, da, 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 da. Mom, I'm adjusting. You know what? Can I do this? <gasps> I can do this. I can change the direction of the wind. How about that? And then I will... Sorry. <laughs> um, I'm changing this. My youngest brother really likes it cold. Well, he's listening to me in the next room, so he might complain later. Don't talk about me. But I, I easily get cold, so I have to adjust the temperature. Um, <laughs> how long do cats live? I don't know. Like, like, I ask around, and a lot of people have cats nowadays. But then some of them live oh, like past twenty. Yeah, they live very long now. Have you ever cycled a trail across the bridges over the different islands? Ah, you're talking about the, the bridges the Sharla and the Chris crossed, right? With bike, I think. Um, that's actually the the bridge. Well, uh, well yeah, yeah, yeah. I never really like done any cycling over the bridge, but uh, that's very Shimanami Kaido. So, 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 Shimanami Kaido. So, that's like very close to the island where I did the uh, torch uh, carrying thing. Yeah. So, I have crossed the bridge by car, but. Aw, oh, thank you. Congrats on the Olympic torch carry. That's cool. Yeah, that was like. That was, that was something, actually. Like, until I went there, I felt like, you know, like, I don't know. It's just like, I don't know. Maybe, uh, well, I shouldn't, maybe I shouldn't compare the, this experience to the actual Olympians. But like, like, until you get there, you feel like maybe it's just a dream, you know, like, 
I don't know what's gonna happen. Like, I don't feel like, you know, like I'm very calm, not like overly excited or nervous or anything. And then you get in and then you see all the people wearing like a Olympic uh, like staff uniform and they are so formal. And I was like, ooh, I'm so special. <laughs> you know, you know the feeling? So were you nervous you would drop the torch or trip or something? Oh, actually not. Not really. Oh, well, you know, the like, torch was actually lighter, much lighter than I'd expected. It's like 1.2 kilograms. So it's not, it's not very heavy. And then it's not hot either. Even they like light up the torch and, and then you only run for like tw 200 meters. Yeah. So like two minutes, one and a half minutes. And then you like, you basically like run like you, like you, you run, but kind of slower than walking. So yeah, kind of like not like really jogging, but what is it made of? Uh, the torch, the torch is made of the, uh, how can I say, how can I say? Uh, remember the uh, East Japan earthquake uh, that happened two th in 2011, I believe? And so there are many like uh, buildings got collapsed and then they collected all the metals from there and then they used those to make a uh, torch. So not like 100%, I believe, but some of it or most of it. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. The idea itself was pretty cool. And the shape is the uh, cherry blossom shape. So if you look from the above, it looks like a flower. So, and then it's a little pinkish because, you know, cherry blossom is basically the symbol of the a Japan, right? So yeah, recycling in the torch and the middles. Yeah, middles too. So hi guys, new people. <laughs> so uh well we were talking about i thought i think we were talking about my mom's dance studio and then we got carried into olympics and torturally yeah that's the beauty of having a live stream i love it i love it and then it's almost an hour so I lo i'm loving it uh what have you been doing since the dance studio closed i personally haven't been doing any exercise whatsoever so it's not really good um yeah, not really good. I'm not really a sports type of person. Uh, when I was young, like when I was a student, I belonged to a brass band club. And well, first I thought that I was gonna play basketball when I was in elementary school. But elementary school basketball or like softball or baseball or whatever, like soccer or something like that, those are super duper serious in Japan. So once you get in, that means like you have to practice every day. And then basically all the weekends, like all, like both Saturday and Sundays, you have to go to the, uh, the game. So you can't study, you can't play with your friends, you can't do basically nothing. So yeah, my mom stopped me. <laughs> How is the situation for the ADA temples during the current situation? I'm not sure. And usually, like the ADA, the going around the ADA temples in Shikoku, like the pilgrimage, uh, you should be doing that alone. So as long as you are fine with the the heat, because the heat in summer in Japan is the worst the humidity and the heat and then yeah even for people who are used to the 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 temperature they get sick yeah so like i worry about that more than uh, the covid for the going around alien temple temples so i think you should do it next spring or fall <laughs> <laughs> Her dancing is getting rusty. Yup, yup, yup. 
Yeah, my mom would like actually suggested like you should do some exercise. If you're not doing like go if you're not going to the gym or anything, then then you should probably like do a little bit of dance like once a week or you know and I was like yeah sure and actually like this is like, a little bit of spoiler uh for the patreons tonight but so about a year ago uh I well it's actually my brother but hit my toe with a uh, couch not this couch but like couch in the office and my toenail kind of came off it was still there but it was like bleeding like hell and i was like ah no not nail right because it take yeah yep that hurt and but the nail was still there so when i googled like don't peel it off just it'll come off eventually but naturally so like you have to tape it together and then make sure you have to like apply some like rubbing alcohol and so that you won't get infected blah 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 and it didn't hurt after all so like i was taking care of it but like according to the website and it was like it should take only like you know a couple months right and i thought i was like kind of like getting ready like a little bit excited i just wanted to see like you know the nail coming off but Stop! Stop! What? Stop! Walk! Walk! Anyway, um, and then, um, then like it, my nail is clearly dead. Like the color is different from the other toe. But then it was like staying there for like, like almost a year, and I was like, so maybe it doesn't come off. And yesterday, <laughs> when I was vacuuming the house. I felt something like weird on my toe and I was like, oh, maybe it's time, right? And I like poked it and it like, and then it fell off. And I was like, whoa, right? And I heard that like when the nail naturally comes off, like the new nail is like already there, but it wasn't. <laughs> it was like halfway there. And so basically my tip of my toe is like completely naked and I was like, what should I do? <laughs> so and now, so I can't really dance with without my toenail because I want to like, I want to have my toenail kind of, you know, fully grown. <laughs> I don't want my toenail to be like done halfway. So I want to take care of it. And but according to like some websites, it might take like one more year because <laughs> like that, yeah, that kind of adds up because like it, it took like one year to grow half a nail. And so it would take one more year. And I was like, no. <laughs> so don't. Yeah, at least I have an ex excuse. Yeah, true. <laughs> it's not like I don't I don't like dance. It's fine. Um, yeah, but it's just like, I, I rather do work rather than like, you know, going out and like do dancing or like exercise. I'm good at like sports, but it's just like, I'm not a big fan of it <laughs> or I'm just lazy. <laughs> but yeah, so that's, that's my toenail situation. <laughs> Sorry, Patreon, spoiler alert. Well, too late. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 I heard that it, it might get infected, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna apply some rubbing alcohol from now on as well. I'm gonna sanitize it. Yeah, eating more protein might help you grow toenails quicker. Really? I thought like calcium, so I was like trying to get calcium. And then I was like, I eat cereal every day, and then like my brother goes like, yeah, that doesn't help. How did you get so fluent in English? Oh, that's a question that. Uh, I haven't gotten for a while. Drink milk, right? Yeah, drink milk. Uh, no bonodori. No, no bonodori is kind of dead though. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so why I am fluent in English is that like I study abroad. <laughs> That's the short version. Well, I started taking English lessons since uh, three years old. My mom just put me in a local uh, English school. And well, luckily, uh, 
the teacher there was a uh, like you know native speakers I guess so I picked up the uh, like correct or more like natural uh, pronunciation there and but mostly I don't know like a lot of people like get surprised about the fact that like I don't really have Japanese accent yeah but I went to Hawaii to study abroad when I was 16 and then I stayed there for a year but well unfortunately my host mom she's a great person by the way but my host mom was Japanese as well I didn't pick they picked me and there was nothing I could, I could do or the organization could do and and I I asked her to speak English only and I didn't want to speak any Japanese and yeah but and after that I went to university for two years in Missouri yeah Missouri <laughs> Missouri um, it's a great place it's just humid in summer but yeah so yeah that's that's pretty much why but I keep kind of I keep studying like I keep watching Netflix and then I might like I might like you know learn new like phrases and stuff so like I repeat it myself so yeah that's pretty much why <laughs> by the way my Japanese is getting bad like getting worse and worse like I can kind of like guess what I want to say but like usually like I like I make one or two mistakes and it doesn't come out right and then like my students or like my parents laugh at me humid in summer in is like Shikokuto. yeah yep yeah, yep yeah, yeah. so I was fine I was fine it's just like I don't like having humid summer because Hawaii is nice sorry no I don't I don't know why I have this in my hand <laughs> that's a cap um yeah like Hawaii was the best like Hawaii's summer is yeah hot uh like 90 degrees sometimes over 100 degree Fahrenheit uh I was there so I don't know exactly how hot it is in Celsius it's funny because like I was only watching the uh the for, uh, weather forecast in like American but yeah 100, de 100 degree Fahrenheit somewhere there but like if you are hiding in the shade and then that's like the breeze is kind of cool so yeah it, it does get hot in, uh, in Hawaii but it's not like humid hot so I liked it I think it's turning <laughs> yeah it is turning but okay so I think my alarm went off so that was the okay that was the signal that I should move on to the next announcement so the first announcement remember what it was <laughs> that was the uh, uh, patreon so follow me on patreon yeah that was the that was the thing like you can see me every day that's it um, patreon account yeah patreon account and so next one next next announcement next announcement so this is pretty big one well for me maybe not for you guys so somebody asked me about pinky rings like i remember pinky rings and then i was like oh you guys know it and i love it i love it i love that you guys know it but yeah so pinky rings so i guess most of you guys don't know about pinky rings so pinky rings is that the it's kind of like a dance group uh who is, who consists of high school and university students uh girls and they were all former students of my um, mom dance studio the dance studio pep and they are still committing for the new dance studio my mom decided to continue and then i don't know why but I just forgot why that happened but it was part of it my idea part of it my mom's idea that since we cannot throw any uh, performances anymore because we don't have any students uh, then we decided that what if we do something totally crazy and then create some like a like a k-pop because like everybody lo everyone loves k-pop 
I'm I I wasn't really a big fan of K-pop, so at that time I didn't really know anything. Now I like study a little bit, so I know like a few groups and a few songs and whatnot. But for me, it's more like it's kind of like a study, study, you know. But like those girls actually love K-pop, and they can dance as well. So I asked them like, can you dance K-pop? You know, any like BTS or Twice or whatever, and they're like, yeah, we can. And then, do you want to try making like a videos and stuff, like you know, promotion of like music video? And they were like, hell yeah! And so then we decided to uh, make some music videos, and we actually made just one uh, on Pinky Ring's uh, yeah YouTube channel, and that was like that was kind of like a warm up. It's pretty good, pretty good, and they. Uh, th their costume is like cute. It's like very like k pop -y or like Japanese high school girl-ish kind of thing. So I like it. Um, and uh, I was gonna say. And so big thing. Okay, I'm just gonna cut, cut into the chase. Uh, the big thing is that they will be performing three songs and then in the three uh, three songs, we have two new songs, and on live. So they will be performing a live show, more constructed one compared to this live show, and they will be performing three songs. So it will be like you know thirty minutes or something like that. It's very short, but uh, yeah. So. Please come and watch. <laughs> Cause like it'll be sad. Like uh, they only have like fifty followers on um, what is it? Blackpink. Okay. Pink, uh, <laughs> pink, black, pink. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> um, so see, like. It's 12 o'clock, okay? 12 o'clock, it's midnight, so I my brain is not working after working 10 hours. Uh, okay, so here's go. Here, here we go, here we go, here we go, start over. Okay, so Pinky Ring is a group who dance K-pop, and they are going to perform live on YouTube next Saturday, okay? So one week from now. That's one of the reasons why I did la my live stream today, so I can say one week from now at 5 p.m. Japan time. So a little bit earlier than today. Yeah. So we'll, they will be performing three songs and they're all K-pop. So if you are a big fan of K-pop, I don't know how many of you guys are, <laughs> but, and we need your support. So yeah, just hang out like 30 minutes show and yeah, let me know. Let them know what you think. And yeah, so that's, yeah, that's what it is. So then, yeah, I'm not dancing uh, for a pinky rings because I'm 28, I'm turning 29. <laughs> I'm not, well, I, I, yeah, I usually go to bed at two, so 2 a.m. Well, I sleep in until like nine a.m. <laughs> Cause I, you know, like I teach, uh, like I teach cram school and stuff. So do you manage them or something? Yes. I'm the manager. Yeah. 2, 2 AM. Not bad. Cause I don't have to wake up that early in the morning. I wake up around nine and then I get ready and then I go to work around like 3 PM and then I work until 10 PM. Yeah, and come back and then do the same thing. <laughs> so, yeah. So I manage Pinky Rings because they don't know how to make a video. They don't know how to um, promote themselves. So we actually do set up a account over Twitter, Instagram, and then TikTok. And then we are not really like on Twitter, but like we are very active on TikTok and Instagram. Uh, every week, they all the members. Well, we only have three members. So, uh, if you are if you are young, <laughs> if you are young, 
<laughs> if you're like teenager or like university student age and then if you are interested in k-pop and if you have a little bit of dance experience and if you want to become a uh, uh, pinky rings member you can actually because we are connected on tiktok and whatnot so like you can like throw your piece and then we just share to the world as the pinky ring so let me know if you're interested in joining but yeah so we will have a a first live stream and then we have done a little bit of like a couple of events uh they were all success and so we decided to do a move on to a live stream as well uh i was i just want them to have some experience uh in i don't know like social media and then i work on saturday too yes a uh, sunday sunday no i don't work on sundays i used to but i decided not to it was too much <laughs> so i have sunday off well i worked yes the last sunday but not every sunday uh yeah so i want to teach them how to use all the social medias and whatnot uh and then take advantage of it because they are still young so they should know how to promote yourself uh, it doesn't matter what kind of job they're gonna get that's something that they should uh know from young age you know and yeah so i i hope i can teach that through uh, uh through pinky rings so live stream please come and please watch support them they don't have much followers so <laughs> and i wonder like i'm getting a lot of notification from pinky rings instagram account saying like oh new follower new follower new follower are you guys that are those you guys if so thank you so much um yeah so we are active on uh, Instagram. They are learning how to take a selfies, and then they are film like they are practicing dance skills on TikTok, and yeah. And then we will be shooting uh, two songs uh, this fall. Uh, did I mention the name of the song? Yeah, I think so. It's that it's fine. It's okay. So we uh we will be uh we will be uh, performing twice. Alcohol free. It's a strange name, right? Alcohol free. And then we have uh wannabe by Easy. Yeah, those two. I take it that you guys are not that into K-pop because nobody says like, oh, I love K-pop, so. <laughs> well, I don't blame you because I'm not that, yeah, K-pop fan. As a manager, I just chose K-pop, that's all. Yeah, there are so many people who are following uh, pinky rings now <laughs> and they're sending messages and stuff. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Okay, I'm going to go back to some like answering questions then. What are some hard things to learn about English? I think how to interact with other people. It's just like, I think it's easier for us. It doesn't matter if it's English or other languages. It's easier for us to interact with other Asian people because we kind of understand on, I don't know, maybe like gene level that like how we express our feelings are very similar. But I went to America and I think like Americans and Europeans kind of like it's easy to interact with each other, I guess, I'm assuming. So like I think it was like both of us that like we are speaking the same language, but like it felt like almost we are not speaking, uh, speaking the same language. Yeah. I don't, yeah. I don't know. That was the hard part. 
Like even if I'm like I'm like how how you oh you listen to K-pop thank you finally <laughs> finally someone that I can share the pinky rings information to anyway so yeah I forgot what I was talking about here we go hmm <laughs> okay. <laughs> going back, going back, going back, going back. Oh, how about a pinky ring Tokyo Lens Chamisen crossover video? That would be great. That would be so much work. <laughs> well, I'll pitch the idea. We might be able to do something. Oh, thank you. My English is good. Thanks. Where are the pajamas? This is my pajamas. I don't have like the classic pajamas like has like, you know, like color and stuff. You know, the same color, like, you know, like, I'm like, ah, pants, pants. <laughs> yeah, this is my pajama. It's a legit pajamas. It's a pajama party. Party, party, party. Uh, you listen to initial D music. Uh, that's, I guess, norm area. Like, that's something that norm knows better than me. Yep, Marvel. But I don't really know much about Marvel. I just like this shirt. That's all. <sighs> would you like to live in? A, uh, would you like living abroad again? Yes. Yes, I would. Yes, I would. I don't know where. <laughs> yes, I am getting tired. I am getting tired. <laughs> Cause like, okay, so my my job is to teach English, right? Mainly, well, I sometimes teach like math and stuff, but like at, in cram school, but like mostly. But like, it doesn't matter like what I'm teaching. Like as a teacher, like I respect teacher, like seriously. Cause like they will be talking all day. And then, you know, when you are dealing with kids, especially young kids, you can't shut up. Once you shut up, they'll be like, eh. I'm not gonna listen to you. I'm gonna think of something else, right? So you should be like, you are, you have to be like, kind of like, you know, keep the pace and like get going and energetic and then make like, make the class fun, but yeah, and then when you do that for 10 hours, and you'll be like, oh, I'm dead. <laughs> and then your question will be like, then why the hell you decided to do the live stream tonight? Right? That's the reason. I, I, I told you about the reason. Pinky Rings is going live next Saturday. That's why. Uh, why, why I named Pinky Rings? Um trademark by you sorry i don't understand that part but the name pink earrings um that was actually my mom's idea uh i don't know why well, like we were talking we were talking 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 like trying to find like some like cute names and then we're i think we start thinking about the uh group color and stuff first without like talking about the uh uh, that name group name itself and then we were like well they're like high school girls and we want to go for like you know kind of cute group and then like well if it's cute that's pink and they're girl pink sure and uh first song we were wearing a lot of pink thing so okay okay pink 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 pink, pink. and then I think she was, I think my mom was like, pinky, like, how about like, you know, dr you, we drag the, the end of it. And then she didn't even know pinky means pinky. And then, and then I was like, pinky means this. And I was like, huh, okay. And then, so we were about to name the group pinky. And then, but just in case I have to, you know, 
look like look up if there's any you know sexual meanings to it because that happens a lot in English language and so I ask my female friend like a native speaker and hey so this is the situation and I just wanted to make sure this word doesn't mean any other thing and then she was like ah then you should like yeah maybe like that's not really good and I was like okay then how about like pinky rings because you know pinky rings and a pinky ring like if you wear it on your right pinky um that means to make your wish come true or something it's not like something i believe in but that's something to like i think that's i think that's kind of good meaning you know that gives you hope you know what i mean so i thought that's like that's uh kind of gives you the story and stuff when somebody asks me like why pinky rings like this so that's how Live on which channel next Saturday? Oh, Pinky Rings Saturday. Uh, Pinky Rings Saturday. <laughs> Pinky Rings YouTube channel. So the, the, all the links in the in the description the description box. I have like a Pinky Rings, and then we have like uh, what is it? Uh, TikTok and Instagram, and then I have put YouTube channel as well. So there, you're gonna go live there. Sorry, I'm going through the Japan got many Olympic medals. Great. Yeah. Too many. <laughs> Too many. Like I'm not as I said, I'm not really a sport person, so I never really follow Olympics events this much. Like this year is the first and only time that I watched some games but i don't remember the last time we won so that many medals so i don't know <laughs> uh, Aust yeah australia so norm and kiki do you know shamisen girls kiki went to australia uh before covid and they loved it yeah they loved it so i kind of want to see come to europe yeah that's the thing like after covid i, I think i want to travel the world well, yeah, well, between work, <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna, I, I said it and I was like, okay, how am I gonna find the time? <laughs> I can't even take a day off. How am I gonna travel the world? But I said it, um, no take backs, right? Uh, but yeah, like I've only been to America and like, well, technically three times. One time in Hawaii as a high school student, and then one time in Missouri as a college student. And then one time I went back to visit my friends in Missouri. So yeah, that was it. And on the way back home after college, I stopped by uh, New York because I knew somebody there. Actually, my mom's friend lives there. So I stayed at her house and I went to the very touristy areas like, you know, Times Square and then MoMA, MoMA, the museum, and then the, Liber the Statue of Liberty and then stuff like that. And then that's the only thing I did touristy in my whole life. So after COVID, definitely I want to go to many different places. Yeah. Yeah, China is winning the gold medal count. Yeah, China is a really strong country, so there's no surprise there. You could hire for short term. You mean like the teacher? 
Yeah. It's very hard. It's very hard. Like if I, it's 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 not like you know like. Well, one thing is that uh, it's kind of hard to find a uh, good a uh, teacher in Ehime who can speak English, cause like. Uh, he or she can be either native speaker or has to be better my better than my English level because still uh, all the parents are paying for the lessons right so it has to be my level and plus if I'm gone for like a week or two and then I can't really rely on that part-time worker. That's the thing. Like some people might do it. Some country that's like a regular thing, but like in Japan, like especially when you're dealing with little kids, then yeah, not really good. If I'm gonna be away that long and then has to be a full-time worker, at least. So that's the that's the tough part. Find a sugar daddy. No, thank you. <laughs> but I'm I'm not that age either. Like sugar daddy, that wait, I don't know about the international term, but like in Japan, sugar daddy is basically for like high school or like university students. Like like very young girls. Like I'm almost 30, yo. <laughs> <laughs> okay well last 30 minutes i'll be out at 1 a.m so that i can go to bed so any questions have you always been ambitious and adventurous no actually no and then I actually didn't notice for a while. I thought I was like, okay, I'm a very cautious person. I like when everything is organized, everything planned. I freak out when like little thing goes wrong. And I'm a perfectionist and I'm very strict. I, I'm a hard worker. I, yeah, so I thought I was the completely opposite of um, ambitious and adventurous because like being adventurous and ambitious, that means there is a uh, risk usually. And I've been working towards reducing the risk as much as possible in my entire life. So, but when I look back, it was like very recent that I realized like, okay, what I'm doing after college, like from 20 years old, is that it's very, very risky. There's no guarantee. And I could lose it in a second. And so, yeah. And I'm proud of it, actually. Because I always look up to those people who are very like brave and then do whatever. And I feel like I became one of those people that I admire. So, yes. Yeah. I only have dreams. Like you, when you like, when you feel like, you know, when you feel like, oh, what if I reach this goal? And... What if I don't have the next goal? And then I realize like your goal never ends. You know, your dream never ends. There are always new dreams, new goals. So, and actually the one of the goals that I set to myself as a joke, okay? As a joke, uh, when, actually it was like when I started my business. So uh, when I was 20, Okay, that time I was teaching from home and I didn't know how long I'm going to continue teaching. And I, uh, I only had like, you know, 10 students or something like that. And I, 
a while after I started getting more students, more students, and I quit my uh, part-time job. And then I was like, okay, maybe this is something I can enjoy and then earn money at the same time. Maybe I can make this as a career, right? And that time, I first I thought that I needed to get an office, right? And then I achieved that goal at, age, at the age of 25. And I was like, okay, so if I can come to this far in five years, then in the next five years, I will be able to become a CEO of a corporation. So I can turn my company uh, as a like, self-employment into a full-on corporation. And guess what? I just did it. So three years later from that promise or kind of, it was kind of a joke that I told other people, I'm going to be a CEO of a company. I'm going to turn my business into a corporation uh, by the age of 30. And then I did it. Um, I did it uh, at the age of 28. So yes, two years early. So yeah, it was, it was actually like super duper. Well, I like paperwork. I really love paperwork. I, I love like figure things out and like type it in and then I submit the document and then like I file the documents. I like all of those things. So yeah. But if, okay, long time ago with Jasmine, I made a video how to become a uh, business owner in Japan as a foreigner. And that was like hell of the work. And, but, um, I was gonna say, uh, but after, but, but, but that time I only did the research. So I didn't quite understand the whole thing, whole process, how long it was gonna take and all that. As a Japanese person who has the basic um, knowledge of running a business on my own, filing your business as a corporation is not something that you should do on your own. I did it for the sake that I can and I wanted to tell you guys, I'm thinking of making a video. It's gonna be a very difficult video to make because it's just so many big terminologies that no, uh, not so many Japanese people even understand. And there are so many like procedures and the steps that you have to take and so many different like uh, situations so you have to find your like specific situation and then what you need, what type of documents you need for your situation from many different types. So yes, it is a very tough procedure, but it was worth it. And I hope like I can make it like as simple enough that you can actually save it for later if you are looking into a become a corporation and not so much procedure is different in other countries i think it's pretty pr pretty similar i will say so and i want to make a video like sorry it's all business businessy but like i want to make a video because like there are so many people ask me that why don't you become a, a llc and then like uh, and not corporation because that's much like easier and then like you have to pay less taxes and then blah 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 blah, blah. and I want to get on to that and then because I did the research and then you know um uh like I there is a reason why I choose corporation over LLC so uh do I have any type of degree no I only have high school diploma so I'm one of those people who are like, I'm an entrepreneur and I don't have a degree. I, will, I went to college, but I, I dropped out after two years. So yeah, so I don't have a degree. I, I thought of going back and I just needed time off. I'm not gonna get into it, but if you wanna know, then I will let you know in the video sometime. But yeah, I went, and then I went to America and I loved it, life over there and I was learning so much 
and I was doing something I love, which is theater. And I was really good at it. I was doing lighting design and stuff. And I was like, yeah, I was like, uh, I was studying with a uh, grad student and whatnot. And I was better than grad students. So I was fine. But like then I was like, when I look into the future, because I was a foreigner there, uh, there's a visa problem and whatnot that I couldn't, didn't, uh, I didn't know beforehand. And there are not so many people, like, there weren't so many like, you know, online, like social media and whatnot going on back then. So it was almost impossible for me to like search every little detail after, uh, uh, you know, before going to go into college at the age of like 18. Right. And so, uh, I, I found out that, at, like first year in college that it wasn't the path that I wanted to take. And I decided to continue for the, uh, the following year because if I wanted to go back to school, I could transfer into the local college in back home. And so that's why I continue until the end of the sophomore year, the second year. And then I decided to come back and then I start doing all the uh, little like work from home. And then that, that kind of becomes like, yeah, we, everybody's like, hey, you're like Bill Gates and it's Steve Jobs. And I really love those comments because, <laughs> yay, I'm one of those people. Like, I'm going to get there. I'm going to get there. And then like, you know, I don't know, 10 years, 20 years from now, and I might be like one of those like one of those like entrepreneurs. And I'm like, I'm a college dropout, <laughs> you know, but yeah. So, yeah, like I'm like, I'm not like. Mm, I been very like, I thought that I was like a very academic person because like I'm like straight A student. Uh, so I thought I was, that's where I was going. Like I'm gonna like, you know, study a lot at like university, maybe go to grad school and stuff like that. My brother is like that. Um, uh, but then I found out that I, that's not what I wanted to do. And then I came back and I didn't think that I had the business sense, but I did. And, uh, yeah. So for me, it was like teaching English, but I don't really care if it was a, uh, uh, English school. And so everybody asked me like, well, your English is pretty good. And I, th I thought like, <laughs> did you, did you start a business in your garage? No, not quite, not quite, not really garage. It's the second floor. Does it count? Maybe not. Um, uh, but yeah. Oh, well, I guess I like, I started my business in the, in my parents' house. It's kind of similar to garage, right? You know, I didn't like, I didn't rent my own space or something. But hey, long time no see. It counts, yes. <laughs> but yeah, so what were you talking about? So yeah, like I, I, I plan on going back, like after earning some money and after figure things out, and I, I, I always plan to go back and then pay my own tuition and then like you know, uh. uh well, start again uh, from where I left off. But then I just, you know, every, the, my business took off. So I didn't even need and nobody even cared that I had a uh, bachelor degrees or anything. So, yeah. <laughs> going back, going back, going back, going back. Going back. Uh, what are your goals for YouTube? Well, I want to. Okay. I well, just one simple thing. I want to become famous. That's all. Period. <laughs> That's all. Okay. So I I'm not like crazy YouTubers like make videos every day or like once a week or like I don't schedule anything uh, because I'm still in the middle of building my own company and now I turn it I turn it into corporation and I have some staff so I have to take care of them of course and there are so many things like on my plate and it's just like I'm sorry but I can't just focus on YouTube right now so I just do it but I have no intention of killing YouTube 
my, my channel, like not killing YouTube, but like my killing my YouTube channel. And I only intend to grow my YouTube channel. That's it. And uh, yeah, so like Norm and I want to collaborate. Uh, like somebody was asking earlier if I ever visited Charlotte's new place, but like, no, I can't because she lives far away, like further than Tokyo, you know. But yeah, so uh, yeah, just want to be famous. I just want to be a famous. <laughs> That's all. So yeah, because like, hmm. I don't know. I didn't, I don't think there's nothing wrong with becoming famous. Like becoming famous is very important. And yeah, it doesn't matter like what you're doing. Like you have to put your name out there to do something like you know. So, I'm already famous. Thank you. <laughs> I'm flattered. So yeah, it is a trade-off. Is yeah, the trade-off is privacy. Yeah, that is true. But you can protect your privacy. You can. You have to be smart about it. So how far are we okay 15 more minutes 15 more minutes and i i said everything i need to say the announcement whites i just wanted to okay so today i wanted to talk about the covid the vaccination thing and then i wanted to talk about the uh uh oh when will you visit america i don't know <laughs> the covid <laughs> right so well as soon as possible like i haven't well first i have to go to tokyo i want to see tokyo creative people if still if they still remember me <laughs> i mean we, we chat on daily basis so we keep each other updated and whatnot but like we can't i can't physically go there so you're all prepared for the typhoon well typhoon is not not gonna hit my area this time usually it does but uh there are three typhoons right it's gonna be rainy all day tomorrow but yeah it's gonna hit kyushu but not really this area well it's gonna get affected a little bit like a little bit windy and then a little bit maybe rainy of course the thunderstorm here and there but won't be a big deal should be okay so like there is a mountain uh if you know where the exact ehime is uh there is the uh, second uh, tallest mountain in western japan called mount ishizuchi and that mountain itself usually blocks the clouds away and that's how this area is pretty decently protected by any sort of like typhoon thingy so my dream is to go to Japan. Yeah, you should come. You need to hire someone to help managers your social media accounts. In my opinion, if you can't handle them, you yeah, I don't have money. I don't really have money. Uh, but that's the thing. So, okay, there's a one thing that I... Like, I was already thinking, I started feeling that the becoming a corporation was a good idea for me, is that, uh, is the money. So when you are self-employed, every income that you get is your money, right? And of course, you, in your mind, you set aside some money for your personal stuff and then some money for your business stuff. And then, you know, things like that. And then like some of them, will be taken away as taxes, right? But still like, it's hard to uh, set how much money you should exactly spend within a year. But as soon as you become a corporation, it became so much clear. Yeah, so there are like, I might, so I have to sit down with my tax attorney 
and then I have to figure out like how much I should be taking and then how much I should be paying to my employees and then if I have to see like if I can find a space to actually hire a person who can control my social media accounts yeah so that's something I can like actually discuss with my a uh, tax attorney yeah so yeah already good effects on becoming a corporation Ah, uh, could you keep the pink Olympic torch? Yes, yes, you can. Well, you actually okay. This is a stupid thing ever, but a so uh, there are many, many, many hundreds of people who ran who carried that torch, right? So those people who carry the torch have the right to purchase purchase the torch for seven hundred dollars. Crazy, huh? So if you don't have money, you can buy the torch and that's just so stupid. But uh, since my sponsor was Toyota and Toyota is very nice. Yeah. Wow. Right. And the Toyota actually bought the uh, torch for us and they, yeah, gave it to us for free. So I didn't pay for it. And then, yes, I do have the torch at home. Uh, oh, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes. Have you climbed any mountains in Japan? Yes, I have. Uh, Mount Isiduji, the one that I was actually talking about, the tallest mountain in Western Japan. But uh, I have also ran full marathon in Hawaii uh, when I was in high school, when I was studying abroad. And both of those experiences were great. I enjoy them, but I never want to do it again. No, no, thank you. It was too hard. <laughs> Toyota is lifesaver. Yeah, so I'm thinking of like next my uh, my next car. Maybe I should get Toyota car. I don't know. Now I have Honda, right? So, I'm not sure. <laughs> Any new comments? <laughs> Get a Hummer, ride like a ride like a boss. I don't know how you're gonna do it. Uh, does your to Olympic torch still light? No, they took out the uh, gas tank, so you can't light up the torch anymore. Sad. <sighs> Have you seen Rolex store in Japan? Rolex, the, the, the watch Rolex? Is that it? Yeah. But I think they are only located in Tokyo. Like I'm not, per I haven't personally seen them, but like I've seen the uh, store on TV. So they exist in Tokyo. Are you suggesting that I should buy a Rolex? <laughs> uh, but I heard like that, like, you know, buying the Rolex watches are actually good at investment. So that's not really like, you know, you are wasting money. It's actually a good investment. Investment? Investment. Wait. <laughs> so... Favorite Olympic moment apart from carrying the torch? Investment. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know. I was actually sad about the uh, the opening ceremony. I know like because of the current situation, they had to do it like a like more subtle ceremony. But I don't know. I don't know. See, I'm not a sports person. <laughs> well, I'm like, but I, I'm I'm very like happy the fact that like Japan is getting so many medals, and the fact that like there are so many young people who are uh, getting the you know medals as well. Like, no youngest was like twelve or something. Yeah, so that's that's definitely something. So, 
ど。<laughs> well, I got 93 likes. Seven more likes to hit 100. <laughs> Let's do that. <laughs> if we have come this far, so if you haven't hit likes, get it to 100. Oh, 94. We're, now we are doing counting at 95. We can do it. <laughs> 96. 98. Two more, two more, 99, one more, you can do it, <laughs> 100, yay, thanks guys, 101, yeah, keep going, keep going, um, but yeah, so five more minutes, bravo, 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 <sighs> I don't know, do 10 star jumps? I don't know what that is. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I thought opening ceremony could have shown more Japan culture, etc. Yeah, I know. I know. Like, they could have done it, but like, basically, when the IOC, IOC, that's the organization. Am I saying it right? Uh, the organization, yeah, okay. IOC decided to postpone the 2020 Olympic for a year. Uh, they basically disband the original performers and the, the Olympic committee of the artists. So, and then they uh, united together, but different with different people. So the maybe for original plans, they had a many different like, you know, like amazing Japanese culture based ceremony, but like in the performances, but after the this this disbandment, maybe they had a another like little like meeting and they decided to do a little bit smaller. Do you own Bitcoin? Nope. <laughs> I think it's too late to buy Bitcoin at this point. Yeah, Elon Musk was making some like comments on Bitcoins, like the fact that like you can buy Tesla with Bitcoins and then take it back or something, right? Yeah. <sighs> so why, why replace it with people tap dancing on desk? Doesn't sound Japan to me. I know, I know, I know. Yep, yep, yep. I don't know. I don't know. Cause like there were so many scandals uh, in the Olympic committee that the started with the uh, the chairperson. I forgot what he did. He made some ridiculous comment in public, and yeah, he got kicked out. That was the starter. And then there were some other people who were in charge of something. And <laughs> uh, I'm gonna answer that one last uh, question from the Japanese person. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, I don't like the perform. I didn't really like the performance, but well, you know, what? I I don't think we there was nothing we could do. You know what I mean? There were so too many scandals, and then we had they had to cancel some performance because the person. Uh, was involved in it or something like that. So it was like a whole disaster. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there was like one Japanese question. Uh, should I answer in English or Japanese? Okay, the question is like Japanese. So I'm gonna speak a little bit of Japanese so you can hear me speaking Japanese. えっと、ただ、やっぱり子供さんだとどうしても
そこからまあもし例えば他の塾とか習い事で忙しくなってきたらなんだろうそのオンラインの方のもうちょっとこう時間とか融通きく方に切り替えるとかってしていって調整しそのこう成長に合わせてなんていうだろう、えー、と調整していった方がいいかなっていう気はします。<笑> How much Japanese did you guys catch? あ、よかったです。参考になりました。ありがとうございます。<笑>ちょっと日本語と英語と切り替えると、時々なんか日本語がおかしくなるんですけど、分かってもらってよかったです。I want to learn Japanese, so what should I learn first? Kanji or okay, this is a big one. Okay. All right, so. Ah! <laughs> I tapped something else and I was like, you guys are all gone. I was like, oh my god. Uh, okay, so this is the last question that I'm gonna answer, I think. Yeah, okay. So I think this is a big question、uh, regard related to like language learning. So when you, are, when you want to study Japanese, this is a kind of spoiler. I think I was gonna, I wanted to save it for the uh, uh, video, like how to study Japanese and stuff. But when you want to learn Japanese, Start with hiragana. Start with hiragana or katakana. If katakana is easier for you, start with katakana. That's fine. Because hiragana and katakana are basically the same thing. And so. Kanji, you don't really have to learn kanji. If you are interested, you can. But as long as you can read hiragana or katakana, then you can、uh, read basically anything. But I don't recommend uh, learning, uh, learning how to speak first. Because speaking Japanese is、like、super duper easy. English has a many different tenses, many different like,、uh, slangs and stuff. So it's easy. The speaking part is the toughest of all. And, but、uh, Japanese. Is easy to speak. So I had a friend, half Japanese, half American, back in Hawaii. And she, because her mom is Japanese, she was able to speak Japanese pretty fluently, bleh, fluently but she couldn't speak,、uh, she, she couldn't read and write Japanese because she was relying on to her speaking ability. And she could easily ask her Japanese friend, like, oh, can you read this? And that was easy for her. And so that was, it's actually her、uh, experience and her advice. If you are learning Japanese, start with reading hiragana or katakana. And, and then you don't have to write it, but be able to read first and then move on to speaking. And after that, you can probably start learning kanji because kanji is not necessarily. If you want to get a job in Japan and if you want to get a job but not English teacher, you have to be able to、uh, speak fluently and then write fluently. So, with kanji and stuff. So, that's the that, that's really tough for many people、um, because not so many Japanese companies allow,、uh, like, let people who cannot speak. Write Japanese in and then work as a full time worker. So, yeah, that would be the tough part if you can't read and write in Japanese and then want to get a job outside of becoming an English teacher. So, yeah, I hope that helps. And yeah, I'm like talking about something that、like、I want to do, and then there are something that like there are many things that I haven't been able to do. But one of the things that I want to do that I probably asked you guys on、uh, Instagram before, but I want to be able to like make a some something that I can like teach you guys Japanese online. Yeah, hopefully sometime. Yeah, all right, so. Okay, that's all for today. So I left all the、uh, links, important links down below. So check them out. And so thank you. Gracias. Arigato. Shi shi. I don't think. I only know like four languages, really? That's it. Dankeschön. 
Anyway, <laughs> I'll, I'll stop. All right, see you guys. Thank you. Thank you for joining. Have a good day or have a good night or uh, bye. Bye. Merci. Yeah, merci. Have a good night. Bye. Adios. Adios. Tschüss. Tschüss. Laters. Bye. <laughs> Alright, bye-bye guys. Bye guys. Good night. Alrighty, where do I exit? Alright, bye guys. For real.